the dark You kept pushing on But then you went too far Marine land <laughs> And we got cancelled <laughs> Everyone loves Oh man. Marineland. Um so Marineland is such an interesting topic because I have like I have no idea what's going on, but I have an idea of what's going on. It's the weirdest thing. So my sources for Marineland are always accurate. I've never been wrong about Marineland, to be honest, to date. So when it comes to information, I'm very confident in the information I get. With that being said, if my sources are to be correct as they usually are, I feel like I'm going to get a cease and desist. <laughs> um, the Kellogg's information that I've been teasing, um, 100 Kellogg's Lane in Hamilton, Ontario? Hamilton, Ontario, I think. Or London, London Ontario. London, London, Ontario. They will most likely be the new owners of Marineland. Now... That it has gone silent. So Marineland basically last year started preparing for the sale. Um, you could tell they were cleaning up all the rides, they were cleaning up the area, um, and then like we were, we've known about Kellogg's for about a year and a half now about the Kellogg's information. We've had to keep that tight lipped. Like again, this is pretty risky. So knock on wood. Um, cause if they're not the buyers, then again, so take this allegedly there. I'm, I'm protecting myself from a lawsuit. <laughs> this is alleged information <laughs> it's to be taken with a grain of salt. Um, rumblings, a uh, rumblings. Um, so the problem is it's gone silent. I was told that it was purchased and that they were waiting for lawsuits to clear. The lawsuits are now, as of two weeks ago, all resolved and cleared. So Marineland is got zero lawsuits against them. Um, provincially, they're good as well. Federally, they're good as well. I'm Twelve and zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we like we should be hearing about the new owners now. The only interesting thing that has come up about this two things: Hard Rock and this Kellogg's. Um, company, there's been some sort of partnership deal that took place about six months ago, and I'm trying to keep an eye on if it has anything to do with Marineland. So that's one. Number two, um, there's been ever so slight rumblings of Hershey Park. I don't think I'm sold on the Hershey Park thing, um, but something has happened. Because Kellogg's, like, so I'll tell you the whole story that makes more sense. So, basically, the story of the sale is the owner, uh, Marie, she's put the park up for sale. Uh, it is up for sale as is. You can only buy it if you are interested in operating it as a theme park. I know this. this that information is correct. Um, and it is highest bid. It is not a sale price. There was no sale price for the sale, which is crazy. And it's land and theme park as a whole so highest bid won the park there was only one bid on marine land and it was the kellogg's people for the longest time it was so i don't know what's happened with that because i was told january was supposed to be the announcement um it, it january's passed i was told even before that it was supposed to be like october october passed but january was supposed to be the announcement now the only thing that makes me believe we could still see it is because the lawsuits did get settled in january like end of december january so maybe that information is correct based mm -hmm. off of that but if a bigger player like hershey park did make a bid last minute maybe what we thought were the owners were dethroned and that's why we're not seeing anything so that's why i say i don't exactly know anymore because the owners that i knew or i speculated <laughs> <laughs> the owners that i speculated um were the kellogg 100 kellogg's lane um and this was supposed to be their first theme park um, I knew the plan. I knew the rides that were most likely coming next. Like, um, now what's interesting, this is what has me thinking that it's a bigger player. 
So in these images you see here, so they've started excavating. I'm speculating. I have to be really careful yeah, in how you, you talk do. about marine land. I've this started is... speculating that they're removing the dead animals. So for those of you that don't know, in the upper left image here, this is where the animals have been kind of like, it's either here or right. I could be one of these two areas. The animals are buried. From what I speculate, they are starting to remove those dead bodies. Um, and then if down here in the bottom, bottom image, you just see like a dirt road almost. So Marineland has slowly been building service roads good service roads around the whole park so cars don't drive on property anymore. That's mm -hmm. the whole point of it. Um, that, to me, is a sign that there's a bigger player coming into... Because if it was a family, a, a can't, one of Canada's richest families buying the thing, I don't think they would change much. They... Uh, like... They could, but I'm I'm thinking the service roads. Service roads scream someone that knows how to run a theme park. Yeah, you like, like want to establish infrastructure. And they're building the service roads everywhere, like uh, around attractions. Keep so no cars ever on the path. So that's what has me thinking. Now that is a hundred percent speculation. That is not. I'm not. Haven't been told the service roads are because it's a bigger theme park. That's just my guess. Um, I could be totally wrong, and maybe 100 Kellogg's Lane knows how to operate a theme park better than we know, and these service roads are because of them. But the good news is things are moving forward. Service roads are being built. Um, the animals are, what I speculate, being removed from their graves, um, which is a sign that with all the lawsuits being settled, maybe we'll know who the buyer is. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's either the Kellogg's people Hard Rock or Hershey. Hershey. It's one of those three. It's only one of those three. If I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong because there is another player that I want it to be, but it's not going to be them. Um, Dollywood. Who owns them again? Oh, Hershend. Hershend. I want it to be Hershend so bad. Hershend had visited... Um, so this information I know to be true, too. Hershend had actually visited the park last year twice. No bids were made. I know that. Or at least that's what my sources said. No bids remain. So they visit the park. Obviously, they're not interested. Um, Hershen did buy an aquarium out in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was my that was my hope. They're looking at properties in Canada. I don't understand why more people aren't looking at Marineland. With the amount of space they have. And, and at the end of the day, you know, Marineland is prime real estate. Like, you're at Niagara Falls, you know, one of the biggest tourist areas in the country. The border is right there. So you can be, you know, getting... Niagara traffic, St. Catharines, maybe Hamilton, Toronto, but then you have Buffalo, Rochester, all that other traffic that you could feed from. And there's no really competition in that area other than Darien Lake. And, you know, I, I, I don't... Like, if you, if you do a few good investments, you can easily outbid that. So I, I think... I think Marineland definitely has potential. It's definitely... It should be viewed as competition, regardless of what it is, because there is so much potential there. Oh, yeah. Like everyone looking at wonderland's numbers and then you look at a niagara falls packed day okay oh 200,000 people like easily. did you see new year's yeah like, <laughs> that was probably upwards of half a million can you imagine a six flags even brand up there canadians I mean, anything, canadians yeah. know more about six flags than they know about cedar fair which is crazy to me but they know more the name six flags stands out mm -hmm. to even canadians more so it surprises me that there weren't lineups of people even just inquiring about Marineland. I don't know what the parameters were in terms of the... So what I so if I was someone that wanted to buy Marineland, I would not keep the 1,000 acres. I would buy Marineland, sell three quarters of the land, um, because most operators can't afford 1,000 yeah. acres. So that would have been part of my business proposal to a bank to get the loan to buy a place like Marineland. To sell three quarters of the land, even half, 50% of the land, to land developers. But her requirements, from what I understand, were it had to be sold as is. So that's what could be causing the problem. Um, because I I don't see I don't see how this place isn't already something. Well, I mean it's over a thousand acres, right? Like it's like how many Magic Kingdoms? Like a ninety nine Magic Kingdoms or something like that? Something crazy like that? Well, a great adventure, including the Safari, is out eight hundred acres and, and that, you know, the Safari alone, a great adventure, Six Flags a Great Adventure, takes three hours to drive through. 
A yeah. Marine land is a thousand acres. I think another intimidating thing about oh. all that space is <laughs> there is a Six Flags in Canada. We're on. <laughs> <laughs> a good, good call out good call out but i think an intimidating aspect to any amusement park operator or just anyone when buying this land is look in these pictures look at all that undeveloped land a lot of it is marsh wetland you know like you said there's not really that infrastructure yet and there's so many trees and you know there's a lot of reclaimed land and, and it's a big task like whoever buys this property unless they want to run it as is but if they want to make their own mark on it they are going to need to put the work in not saying it won't be rewarding, because I think if they did, like, it would be extremely rewarding. Yeah. Who knows? I need it to be someone, because Wonderland needs a little bit of Con- chess. Oh, yeah. They need a little chess game They're for them to complacent. get good. Yeah. Um, so. But, yeah. Um, there is a lot of land that is developable, by the way. It isn't, like, all, like, you haven't been, been, have you? No, we went this summer. Oh, okay, because they have that bird sanctuary that never got built. Okay, that I know. And it's developed land, and it's ready. It could fit, like, eight coasters on it alone. It's massive. It's right behind Star Voyager, if you remember that big circle. I was a little out of it, too, when we went. (laughs) Don't forget. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, yeah, Marina's got a lot of potential. Um, 